Okay, so let's take some of our layer filters and let's see what we can do with them. So more than just actually filtering the list, is there something else that we can do with them? So I'm gonna create a new group filter here. Let's just call this group A. And I can see that currently there's no layers in here. Well, maybe I'm not quite sure. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna add based on the drawing here. So let's come in here and let's pick, let's pick this grid line. Let's pick this yellow line and let's pick this um, text object. So I'll hit enter and we'll go back into our layer properties here and we can see that those three layers have been added based on the objects I selected. I can also come in here and I can right click and actually can re replace um, what's in there based on so I can replace this by selecting. So lots of lots of different things that we can do to add and remove um, without having to drag and drop um, to add that. Okay so now I've got these what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to actually isolate this group. So it's just telling me it can't be frozen because it's current layer. So it's going to freeze everything but the current layer. So now in my drawing, again, let's just close this. Now what I'm seeing is just those particular layers. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is let's go back in there and I'm going to take this and I'm going to right click on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this um, group and I'm this layer group and I'm able to do that because I can just select on them and right click and you can see that I'm able to go in there and actually um, lock them, turn their visibility off and on um, through a right click. So maybe what I'll do is I'll come in here, I'll right click on this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to thaw all these layers so everything's back. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to take these ones and I'm going to say um, frozen so it's now frozen those layers from the drawing. So it's just a right click to be able to go in there turn all the layers in that filter on, off, freeze, um, you can thaw them, you can isolate them, you can lock them, basically as a group um, without having to go through and pick each one. So again, just some things we can do um, when you have a lot of layers in your drawing, uh, maybe not that many, but you know you got some layers in your drawing, and instead of having to pick and choose back and forth, I can actually filter the list, filter the layer property, and then I can use my right click options to um, do some mass edits to them.